what's up designers welcome back to the channel hope you guys are doing absolutely fine today in this video i will show you how you can create and practice illustration on the pixel lab app the illustration by the way looks like this i've got this illustration idea from a screenshot right here and i thought that i can make this design on the mobile too and before we start this video if you are new here and want to know graphic design and how simply it can be learned on the mobile phone then you should probably subscribe Okay, let's not waste any time and let's get this video started on how you can create basic illustrations on the mobile app. Let's get started. Okay, right now we are on the Pixel Lab app and as you can see, we've got this image right here with this uh, color palette which is actually available onto my telegram and I've, I've set, up, set it up this background and this image size that you can see on the screen and uh, this is like basic pretty much thing that I've done. So the tool that we are going to use to create this illustration today is going to be a draw tool. Now once you get into this diamond shape over here and deselect everything from your layers, you'll get this option called draw. Once you click on that, this is the option that we are going to use in today's video to create this illustration obviously. So once you click on the uh, tools and uh, tool and then colors, you can choose the colors that you want to have and we are going to choose the dark color color that we have in the color palette. So choosing the dark red colors and choosing this option called fill inside, you can draw the first thing in this image is going to be this clip right here. Now this mountain clip is going to be like this uh, and uh, I've got this in the first attempt but it might take you a little bit of time, a little bit of practice and you might have to do and undo and redo the you know shape again and again because uh, you don't have any practice. I've got this design into this. I'm just designing this, uh, you know, making this design actually in the third time. That's why I got like faster with this design but you might take your time and that's what we are going to be doing in this video you might have to take your time to create these shapes that I'm creating. Okay, right now we are done with the first shape and the second shape is going to be the first valley. Now there are valleys in the mountains area when mountains have some different, the two mountains have some space in between them, there will be a valley and that valley we, had, we, are, that valley we are going to be adding over here. Now this is the basic shape that I'm going to be creating with the same process, choosing the second color in the color palette and this is the shape that we have right now added into the color palette or into the image okay now this is going to be in the background you will always have to put things into the background in the, into this build because we are adding this in the depth manner we are going into the depth of the scene if you're getting my point okay now we are going to add the second valley right here obviously as i said earlier you will have to take your time to put right shapes into the right order so right now we are adding the second valley. It looks something like this. You can always redo the thing clicking on this button and again create this, you know, valley effect. If you don't, if you don't, if you're not happy with the first effect that you have created. So yeah, I'm going to be doing this again and again sometimes. But yeah, uh, that's what I've created. The second valley right now, the second color that we have, the another color, the lighter one than the focus first valley. And the second valley looks something like this. Try and make this valley a little bit of different from the first valley and it should look, it sh they shouldn't look like similar to each other. So don't copy them, create the different shape with the same similar manner. Now we are going to add the another mountain here, the first mountain here, which will be not kind of a mountain, but yeah, it could be a mountain also. So that's we are going to be adding and also I forgot to fill inside this option. Uh, yeah, click on that and create the mountain shape right here. So, okay, right now we are getting this mountain shape right here. I don't want it to be like an actual mountain, like a big mountain, but I want it to be kind of a mountain or a hill that if you can call it a small hill. Yeah, that that could be a thing. Okay, so right now we've added this mountain. I'm also going to be pinching down this uh, little mountain like this. And this car went by okay so we have added this mountain like this uh, with this sec another, another color from the color palette and uh, that is actually looking very good i think this is the this is like kind of a good mountain and i can work with this mountain in today's design but if i would create this design for myself or you know 
i will take time and create some good mountains and i will definitely recommend that you should do that now the mountain is set up like this over here in the layers and right now we are going to be choosing the another color from the color palette and i hope you are getting the color palette sequence over here like i'm adding and decreasing decreasing down the lighter shades okay right now we are adding the biggest mountain which will be available right on this right corner and uh, uh, i will take some time yeah i this uh, mountains are really hard but uh, there is another way you can always download the mountain png from google and you can paste it here and make it look like a real mountain but yeah definitely add your own you know elements to it if you want to i'm just going to add my own drawn ma mountain over here and as you can see i'm taking my time actually and i'm creating this mountain as good as possible so i can work with this shape i guess uh, if i can work with it maybe i can i can try that mountain over here okay so this is how we want that mountain to look like hmm this can this could be working maybe yeah that mountain could be working let's add trees right now now trees this png will be actually available into my telegram group as i said earlier and uh, you can always search on google once you have it you can like come up over here you know de decrease the size and color them with the same colors that you are going to be adding onto them like the shape that you are going to be adding will match the color of the tree that's that's what i'm trying to say so again uh, just the simple process i'm going to be copying this uh, tree one tree and making look like there are multiple trees over here so by decreasing and making some changes into your trees you can actually create some differentiation in between trees and that's that's what i'm going to be doing i'm going to be creating a little bit of differentiation some trees are going to be thinner some trees are going to be a thicker one some are going to be a taller ones so yeah that's what i'm going to, going to be doing and copying this elements again and again right now as you can see i'm pasting the same color trees in the bottom area as well but uh, yeah if you can if you have some more trees png trees you can add more you know variations into your design but i would recommend that you go with the same thing that i'm doing right now and adding the same color the darkest color trees over this background area now if you have added them just make some changes see if they are looking good and if they don't you can always do some you know changes into your design also if you have like happy with the design that you are creating you can lock them into the layers so that they won't move accidentally right now i'm adding adding colors to my first valley and i'm also going to be zooming in a little bit that will be a little easier once you zoom in a little bit uh, i'm going to add those trees right on the second valley or, or the first valley right here with the same color that is matching with the first valley so yeah uh, maybe uh, add some more variations again and also one thing don't make those trees float around in the air right so actually make them stick to the ground onto the you know hill area and uh, have some variations as i said earlier that's what i'm doing right now uh, and uh, yeah add some basic trees do this process again and again i'm also going to be fast forwarding this process again a little bit so that you guys can you know get what an idea uh, you know, get a basic idea that how did i do it and save some time as well at the same time okay so right now i'm doing it a little bit of faster i've edited this into like more than 1.5x of speed so yeah that's what i did and uh, yeah just trees everywhere on the mountains that's what we are going to be going to be doing okay so once we are done with the first hill or the first valley we're going to add trees on the second valley as well with the color that actually matches with the second valley color from the color palette obviously and uh, yeah just add trees over to the second valley but one more tip uh, that you should add trees that are a little bit of smaller than the first valley that you're looking at the image and the second valley is going to be far away from the first valley and the things that are far away will be smaller in size okay right so just add smaller trees into the second valley than the first valley that's what i'm trying to say so yeah do do the same process over and over again and you will be getting to see something like this onto your design of illustration obviously this is just a basic design the basic uh, you know scene that you can create but you can al always create some great scenes if you have in mind you can do this same process 
and add some more illustrations to your instagram feed maybe whatever but yeah adding those trees is a little bit of fun yeah i just do like uh, like making this scene look a lot better by adding those tiny bit you know tiny bit of uh, variations into those trees and oh my god that looks really good so once we have added those trees in the back and that first mountain as well with the matching color of the mountain right now we are going to add this image of wolf and uh, this image obviously will be available onto my telegram so yeah download that as well along with the pellets and everything so i'm going to be adding this uh, wolf or dog whatever onto this hill right here obviously you should have like a kind of size information as well uh, looking at that trees the i mean like you can imagine if the trees uh, next to the dog then how big that dog is going to be no comparing the size variation so i'm just add, i've just added this dog right here on this clip and it looks absolutely beautiful because i know i don't know but it looks really good now i'm going to be adding more things over here and uh, i want to add a sun over here onto this uh, blank area that we we are got we are getting in the sky it could be like a uh, a sunset time of this uh, scene or you can create that into some different colors some blue colors and make it look like it is actually been uh, drawn in the night and the wolf will actually make sense because wolves are actually doing this thing in the nights so yeah you can create this effect into the night in the blue tones and you will get some great results okay so right now we've added this sun right here onto this thing but i think i want to match the color of the sun right here and yeah okay so after the sun we are going to add some highlights now highlights a little bit of com complex thing but you can have edges that have highlighted because of the sun is being like uh, being like shined the some part of some parts of the uh, edges of the image right so i don't know how to explain that but you're going to be adding highlights to some edges of your mountains and of your clips so that's what i'm doing right now i've just added this highlight and i'm also going with the basic thing a basic uh, you know highlight over here but you can actually create and good add some good highlights if you know what highlights and how they will affect the image so yeah that's what i'm pretty much doing i'm also going to be adding a highlight onto this mountain as well uh, and yeah if you add those highlights it will create some more like uh, you know depth and it will add more things into uh, into your design and that's what i'm doing i'm also not taking my time and actually making it perfect but you will have to make it perfect so it will look more better than this one so this is the highlight we are adding right over here and uh, you can always you know decrease the pen size if you decrease down the pen size uh, pen size you can also get some precise highlights on this precise uh, you know parts of the mountain so that's that's what you are going to be doing if you are doing this design and uh, it looks really good if you do you know those minor changes right and i'm also going to be adding this uh, highlight over here as well maybe on this mountain parts like they have some kind of variations in the mountains and yeah this is the highlights maybe you can change some colors i'm going to add some different colors over here so going back to that color icon right here i can choose and decrease down a little bit of you know highlight highlighting of that highlights so yeah this is how it looks like uh in the ultimate year as you can see in the out and this is the design that guys this is what we have created so far and it, i think it looks really good as you can see this is like uh, the best design maybe you can create i mean i mean like i can create best designs but uh yeah that's that is very good and in if you choose the colors right if you get some different colors you can actually make it look like a night sky and a night themes thing and it will look just pleasant to look at so this is the illustration that we have created i hope you have learned something like i hope you have learned the draw tool that how you can use that draw tool and use that into some creation of this is the design guide this is what we have created into this uh, pixel app and then in this tutorial but if you have some queries along in in this design then you can always comment on me below also if you haven't subscribed to this channel do subscribe for more content like this or graphic design related and if you like this video if you have learned something out of this video then make sure you like this video so that it can be shared and recommended to other designers as well that's all for today in this video and i will catch you guys in my next one
Thank you. Thank you.